Hey guys and welcome back to my channel if it's the first time you're here. My name is Lee Borossi, currently pregnant with baby number two. I'm 35 weeks pregnant and I felt it was very necessary to pack my hospital bags for the stay in the hospital for baby number two. And I wanted to share with you guys what's in my hospital bag second time around or technically it's my third. I have had two deliveries earlier or before and one of them ended in uh, our rainbow baby Natalie May which is or she is nearly three and a half. So this time around I feel like I know more or less what I will actually need. Um, I like to be prepared for all situations and the only thing that is new for me this time is that we are having a winter baby and uh, Natalie is a spring baby so I feel like I have more cloth clothing items than I did with her. And I wanted to start off by giving you my uh, <laughs> best tips. I feel like some of these things people are not talking about in their videos and it's something that I'm I'm like a little shocked that not more people are mentioning. Uh, maybe it's just my uh, like weird habits or something, I don't know. Um, but I feel like everybody is, me is mentioning like the Frida Mom spray bottle for like when you go to the bathroom after having your baby, you can have this little squirt bottle with water inside. Um, in my hospital they did not provide that. I am in, in Spain, in Europe, so I know that my video might be a little bit different from back in the States, but um, most of the things are very similar. Uh, they do provide you with many different things, but uh, like pain relief, like dermaplast and that kind of thing that people are talking about, we don't have and we can't buy it <laughs> either. So for like pain relief and that kind of thing, we have to rely on uh, like traditional ibuprofeno or like uh, paracetamol and that kind of thing and for the downstairs <laughs> area I think uh, we just have to like anyway so for to to make it a little bit easier on ourselves when we have to go to the bathroom after delivering um, I felt like it was highly necessary to bring my own toilet paper <laughs> And it's quite ironic now in 2020 to be talking about toilet paper but when I'm in the hospital I hate to use the toilet paper that they have because it's like very raspy, very fine, it's a very, it's almost like the kind of paper that you would use for like, I don't know, it reminds me of like when you are writing on a piece of paper, it's like it's hard, it's like no, it's not comfortable at all. So I'm definitely bringing my own toilet, toilet paper this time. And to add to that, I'm also bringing this um, like wet toilet paper. I will say that this is similar to like wet wipes, but this is flushable because it's one is is uh, like wet toilet paper. It says, and it's 100 um, of them inside, so it's a lot of them, and it's 98 percent natural ingredients. So you can just flush this in the toilet when you are done. So I thought that these two things would be very useful for any woman who has to deliver uh, in a hospital that wants to have a little bit of relief when she goes to the bathroom after. Also we do have bidets where I live and I'm sure that when I'm at home that's what I will be using. I'm probably not gonna be using like a squirt bottle to clean myself. I will probably just use the bidet. Or to be honest, <laughs> if, I, if I'm really desperate I would just probably go and have my first couple of pees in the shower to relieve myself but that's a whole different kind of topic I have that I wanted to share with you like during the labor stage or but also after like sometimes you you be need a little bit of energy boost and I wanted to pack some like snacks that I could put in my bag now that would be still be good when we're going there so if I'm like scrambling at the last moment for things and I forget to bring fruit or whatever other snack I want to bring at least I will have a couple of like nutritious bars in my bags and I did go with the naked blueberry muffin I also have the chocolate ones and I have about eight or ten of them in total in our bag at the moment so I went with this flavor which is blueberry muffin and the chocolate ones because I know that both Caesar and I like them and I also wanted to bring some kind of candy but 
more so for like when you have a dry mouth it's, it's nice to have something to suck on and you're doing a lot of breathing and uh, <laughs> you know it's nice to have something uh, enjoyable to suck on if they tell you that you can't eat for example so I just went with this sugar free like uh, fruity um, sweets like hard candy and I also picked up a pair of just uh, fresh like uh, mint flavored ones and I thought of Caesar that he could be using this. I'm sure that I will have bad breath too but I don't want to have him near my face if he's stinking, <laughs> stinking or if he has stinky breath so to speak. So this is for him, this is for both. I would probably eat both. Um, but yeah, nice thing to have with you in the hospital. Um, and because we are delivering in Covid times and in a pandemic time <laughs> I am bringing a face mask and I picked up this pretty white one from uh, Pat and Pat or something like that. It's a website where they sell very affordable clothing for babies and moms and house items and various things. I will try and link them down if I can. I think I paid like three euros for this mask and it's really really cute actually. I will be keeping this in the baby's hospital bag because it's a backpack and it's easy access to just put it in the front pocket but I wanted to mention it. Um, I also have of course like hand sanitizer and that kind of thing but all of these things are in the baby's hospital bag and if you haven't seen my baby hospital bag video I had it go live before this one so you can just go back and watch and I'm sharing with you all the things that I'm bringing for baby boy. That I am gonna be bringing my makeup bag and this obviously I'm not gonna put in my bag at the moment because I'm currently using this and here I have everything like my everyday makeup. I need to add a mirror to this and I need to add my uh, setting spray because I know that when I <laughs> when I'm delivering um, or when I'm uh, like laboring and delivering I um, get very red and all my pictures I have from delivering Natalie I look like a pig I look so ugly I have a big red nose I look like a Rudolph like the Rudolph reindeer and this time around I want to be a little bit cute in my pictures so I'm definitely trying to do my hair before I go and I'm gonna be bringing my makeup back just in case um, might not use it until after the delivery is over and we are back in the room if I want to take pictures but I'm definitely bringing my makeup. If you don't that's highly up to you and I don't judge but <laughs> I want it. So I'm taking um, like a carry-on bag that has wheels which is very easy to maneuver. Um, last time around I did bring like a weekend bag but I think that this time because we are bringing more things because it's a pandemic and we are not gonna be able to leave the hospital uh, it's basically while we are um, when we when we are in we are not leaving until we're going home with the baby so this time I had to pack a lot more things for us all like for me for my husband for my baby because we don't know for how long we're gonna be staying there and Caesar is not gonna be able to leave to go home and pick up more things if we need it so I have been trying to not overpack but be prepared for most things so that's why I decided to go with this kind of bag because there are many bags <laughs> that we are bringing um, so I have it very neatly organized here and uh, in the, on this side I have mostly my clothing items and on this side I have various things. I also can tell you that on top here I have something for postpartum um, it's a belly band that I ordered on uh, the same website as the mask and it's just a very soft uh, belly band like a uh, not restrictive at all um, and you can like decide how tight you want it it will velcros really really well so for when I'm just postpartum it's gonna be very loose fitting and when uh, little by little I can tighten it more and more and I'm hoping that this is gonna make me feel more secure like not like all of my organs is gonna fall out that's basically why I took it not because I want to look more skinny or to get skinnier fast or anything like that is mainly just to help support my back and that kind of thing here but I have a nightgown with me that I picked up specially for this hospital stay um, and it's a button-up long and long sleeve nightgown I know that I usually don't enjoy sleeping in a pajamas um, with like long 
long pants. Um, so I wanted this for more than one reason. I wanted it because it's gonna be easy access for breastfeeding. We can just unbutton and breastfeed while I'm wearing it and it's easier for also the like the nurses to check like for postpartum bleeding and that kind of thing uh, the first few hours and like they're always coming in checking on you so I felt like if I had this on it would be more easy I won't have to just like remove my pants all the time I also brought one more set of pajamas depending on if we're staying one night or two nights but I wanted to have two options and if I have an accident if I bleed or whatever um, and I stay in the first nightgown I wanted to have a second option so I just brought a very old pajama set that I have and it's a pair of shorts very very elastic waist I felt like that would be very important um, because this is non maternity clothes and a long sleeve button up shirt. They are silk material so they are not very warm but I, I've i heard and I think I remember from with Natalie that the postpartum like sweat problems started very early so I don't think that I will be cold but if I'm cold I have um, options for that as well. So I brought one pair of matching lounge set non-maternity uh, but very elasticated waist and it's a very soft snugly warm material so a pair of pants and a long sleeve shirt this could be my going home outfit or if I just want to be warm and snugly in the hospital um, most likely I will be going home in a pair of maternity black leggings that pulls up uh, over your bump because I know that I don't want to have like anything very tight beneath my bump even if I uh, the baby is out and everything there, there is still gonna be a bump um, I will probably look like six months pregnant or something and I don't want to have anything like pushing underneath I remember feeling very sensitive in that area the last time so I prefer something that I can just pull over I think um, and I will probably go home in this cute shirt. Uh, it's just a very very cute uh, snuggly maternity like uh, sweatshirt um, and I like it <laughs> and I think it would be cute for pictures as well so I'm thinking like a black and white theme for me when I'm going home and um, so if I don't want to wear my leggings I have one more pair of uh, like lounge pants and these are my absolute favorite ones they are stained at the bottom and I have worn this to death. I've had this since I was... I think I've had them for nearly 10 years, you guys. <laughs> but they are super, super comfy. And um, they are black and I feel like... And not tight at all. They are very loose fitting. So I feel like they would be a good option for when you have like your postpartum... Like, not a diaper, but... <laughs> things on and you don't want people to see you're behind um, I'm feeling like this could be very flattering so I'm bringing that and I'm bringing a couple of my favorite tank tops these are just from H&M like the spaghetti stripes stripe one and very long uh, torso so they they go far down this is what I wear normally when I'm pregnant I don't have many maternity tops because I don't feel like I need it. These are very stretchable, it's very easy to just pull down when you want to nurse. So I'm bringing a black and a beige one, basic colors. And I'm bringing one of my robes. This is not a very warm robe. I wish I could bring like my warm snuggly robe that I always wear around the house but that thing would take up all of my ba uh, bag so I feel like no, but I think if I have my long sleeve like um, um, what is called pajamas underneath, then I will be just fine. I just want something to cover my butt, basically. <laughs> that's that's the main thing, and I want to be able to layer, and it's easy access for breastfeeding. So I'm bringing that just in case. I don't know if I will be using it. Um, I'm also bringing let's see one, two, three pairs of nursing bras I'm bringing the ones that I had with Natalie they are still in very good condition and they are all from H&M 
and I highly highly recommend them they are two of them are just normal cotton looks like this and they clip open and you just pull down to nurse and so I have two of them very soft ones with me and I have one that is a little bit more structured but it doesn't have any underwiring um, but same function really love them highly recommend I'm bringing two pairs of black normal socks and one pair of snuggly furry pink socks for when I want to be snuggly and warm in the hospital bed and I have a little hack for you guys as well I'm bringing first of all a plastic bag from the company that I ordered from I thought they are very useful for when you want to pack things that can stain or if you have uh, like dirty laundry or something I thought this could be useful for many things so I'm bringing a pair of old flip-flops for that postpartum shower that we all love so much but I have something against germs and I really don't want to take a shower barefoot in the hospital so I'm bringing my old pair of um, flip, -flop, flip flops from this summer so I can just throw them away afterwards if I want to and I'm also bringing like my old pair of slippers like my furry house slippers that I love so much they keep my feet really warm but they are also very very worn and I was gonna throw them away and get myself a new pair but I decided to hold on to them for this purpose to take to the hospital and it's like an anti-slip anti kind of uh, sole I think you say uh, so I won't fall <laughs> and then yeah so when I'm done with my hospital stay these two pairs of shoes I can throw away if I want to I probably will but the bags are very useful for not get anything dirty and to store other things if you have accidents and that kind of thing so that's basically all for my clo clothing items I did decide to go ahead and bring instead of my robe I wanted to have something warm and snuggly so I decided to bring my favorite cardigan and I'm probably gonna wear it in the hospital like instead of the robe if I'm cold and for going home um, it's a long very snuggly and warm cardigan from Primark and I love this thing Caesar got it for me last year and it has pockets and I just love the colors and it goes very nicely with all of the other clothing items that I brought so I'm just focusing on like basic clothing um, like neutral colors so I can mix and match everything and it would look nice for pictures and that kind. And then I have a couple of toiletry bags and I decided to go ahead and split the things up to make it more easy for myself. So I have like one bag for my makeup and then I have one bag for um, like my toiletries and then I have one like postpartum bag. So let's start with the toiletries. I'm bringing uh, a couple of things that I'm using currently that I have to put in the bag when we're getting ready to go so I have them on my list but I'm bringing a hairbrush I'm bringing dry shampoo I believe that this is very very much essential and this is my favorite is the Batiste one and I'm bringing my anti stretch marks cream this thing has been a lifesaver I believe that it's thanks to this one that I don't have any stretch mark stretch marks this time around so this is the Mustela <coughs> maternity prevention stretch marks cream made in France really really good uh, highly highly recommend I'm bringing a few pairs of scrunchies for when I'm in labor and afterwards and I'm bringing a couple or a few of my uh, um, like prenatal uh, vitamins I'm bringing <laughs> Kleenex if I need it I'm bringing a deodorant I'm bringing a few pairs of creams I have like one facial cream a serum and then I have uh, aloe vera pure aloe vera gel that I will be using on my face and maybe my lady bits <laughs> for healing postpartum and I have an aloe vera propolis cream as well these two together make really nice both day cream and night cream that's why I like them and they are completely natural and I could use them on baby if I wanted to 
Um, I'm also bringing like a heat lotion for if Caesar needs to give me a massage or something that could be useful. And I'm bringing tooth toothbrushes for us and I have this travel size like um, toothpaste uh, thingies for us as well. I'm also bringing um, makeup removal wipes and the last two creams that I'm bringing is my favorite Elizabeth Arden hand cream, the 8 hour one um, because after using so much hand sanitizer we get so dry hands and I, I'm cracking <laughs> and I'm also bringing my favorite lip balm if you uh, are bringing any cream it should be a lip, lip balm because your lips are gonna be super dry from all that heavy breathing and the Elizabeth 8 hour lip repair balm intensive one I feel like you can use it everywhere. I use this as an eye cream sometimes <laughs> and it's lovely, it works wonders. Um, so yeah, that's a few of the things that I'm bringing like toiletry things. Mm. And then for postpartum, uh, uh, this I should mention also, I'm bringing a sleep mask just in case that I have trouble to to relax because of all the like the noise and the lights during labor or postpartum like when we're trying to have that first night's sleep i think this could be useful and um, so i'm bringing that but for postpartum i'm bringing myself two pairs of like really ugly granny panties <laughs> that i don't mind if they get stained or anything like that but i'm also bringing my own like disp dispensable underwear it came in a pack of four so i'm bringing four of them and it's similar to the ones that the hospital give you, I think. So when you're done using them, you can just throw them away. So you would, you would have this and you would have your pad inside as well. And uh, I'm bringing for immediate, like, postpartum. I'm I have decided to try the diapers this time around. I think I will love them. <laughs> I have a feeling I will. Um, so I just picked up this kind. Um, it's basically like an adult diaper for... Uh, for bleeding and um, or leakage and I have heard so many good things about these ones so I decided to try them out I'm also bringing like basic pads I have nighttime and daytime super absorbent pads that I will be using in my disposable underwear and lastly I'm bringing uh, nipple shields or not shields like um, for when uh, your milk comes in and if you start to leak because I had a lot of leakage last time so I'm bringing that and I believe that's all that I'm bringing in my hospital bag if I have forgotten anything you can feel free and leave a comment but I yeah uh, I did wrote down everything um, on my list here and I do want to add a couple of things to Caesars bag but most of the things that i uh, am bringing extra is like electronic things like if you want to make pictures i'm bringing my blogging camera i'm bringing my phone my charger charger for phone that is a, a really long cord is gonna be useful because you never know where the plug is gonna be and um, i'm bringing my charger for my laptop and i'm bringing my laptop so we can watch movies and that kind of thing um, but because i am vlogging hopefully the birth um, if I have time to do some editing, I will probably do that. But yeah, headphones and earplugs, I think. And if I have forgotten something, I will try and remember for when I film the video of Caesar's bag, because I will be adding some of my things there. But thank you for watching, friends. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you guys very soon. Much love. Bye.